This video explains how to return all possible combinations from two data objects using the expand grid function in the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you an example. And for this example, we first need to create two data objects, as you can see in lines two to six of the code. So in line two of the code, I'm creating our first example data object, which is called x1. So after running this line of code, our first data object x1 is appearing at the top right. And we can print the content of this data object to the RStudio console by running line three of the code. And then you can see at the bottom that our first example data object is a vector vector that contains the characters a, b, and c. In the next step, in line five of the code, I'm creating another example data object, which is called x2. And if we print this data object to the console by running line six, you can see that this data object contains the characters D, E, F, and G. Now let's assume that we want to return a data set which contains all possible combinations of the vectors x1 and x2. Then we can apply the expand.grid function, as you can see in line 8 of the code. And within the expand.grid function, we simply need to specify our two vector objects. So in this case, these vectors are called x1 and x2, and they are separated by a comma. And then I'm storing the output of the expand.grid function in a new data object that I'm calling data exp. So after running line 8 of the code, this new data object data exp is appearing at the top right and we can print this data object to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line 9 of the code and then you can see that we have created a new data set which contains 12 rows and the two columns var1 and var2 and as you can see each row of this data set is a different combination of our two vector objects x1 and x2. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.